Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Mathematics with Shahab Yaqub. We are looking at paper 6 which is the S1 paper from the year May June 2014 and the variant is 62. The focus is on permutation and combination and this time the focus is specifically on a question that is related with number formation. Now number formation is part of the permutation category but I treat it separately because of its significance. Now let's start reading the question. Let me start underlining the first part, the first paragraph actually. Find how many different numbers can be made from some or all of the digits of the number 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9. Now let me write these down. 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9. And let me focus on the first part. It says all 7 digits are used. Let me underline it properly. All 7 digits are used. The odd digits are all together and no digits are repeated. Now in the first part, what needs to be done? That is, we should put all the odd numbers in a box. Now first of all, which ones are the odd? 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. These 5 are odd. So let me just make a box and let me put these 5 numbers over there. This is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And what is left? 4 in left, the 2 evens are left on the outside. So the first number, the second number, the box is treated as one unit. That is 3 factorial. And what is happening inside the box? There are 5 numbers. They can be arranged in 5 factorial ways. So now let me do the basic calculation without a calculator. 3 factorial is 6. 5 factorial is 120. 6 into 12, that is 72. Add a 0. 720 is the answer for the first part. So the first part is done and dusted. The second part on the next page, it says the numbers made are even numbers and they are between 3000 and 5000 and no digits are repeated. Now when we are talking about numbers between 3000 and 5000, so first of all we have decided on the fact that this is a four digit number. That is the first thing. So now we are focusing on four digit number and it's between 3000 and 5000. Now what numbers do we have over here? Let me write it down again. 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9. Now can a number start with 3 if it has to be greater than 3000 and lesser than 5000? The answer is yes. Can a number start with 4? The answer is yes. Can a number start with 5? The answer is no. Now what I'll do is that I'll form a box such that, let me form another box also, such that I'll be focusing on the first digit. So let me go very slowly. That's the first digit. That is the first digit. I'll be focusing on the last digit and I'll be focusing on the middle two digits. Now what I'll do is that I'll write 3 over here. That means I'm dealing with all numbers starting with 3. So the first digit is fixed. So this is first, this is second, this is third, this is fourth. The first digit is fixed. Similarly, I can start a series with 4. The first digit is also fixed. The next thing, we want a four digit even number between these two numbers 3000 and 5000. Now in order for a number to be even the last digit should be even so we can have four or eight. So let me write four and eight over here. Let me write four and eight over here. Now three is not part of four and eight. Three is an odd number. Therefore I have two options over here. I can write 2p1. Remember np1 is n. 2p1 is 2. But if I'm starting with 4, 
and since a repetition is not allowed a digit can only be used once so let me cancel out the four i have the option of only eight so i'll write one p one and one p one is simply one so now the first digit is fixed the last digit is fixed what is left we are left with two spaces and out of seven five are left so i can write five p two over here i can write five p two over here choose two out of five and arrange it if i want to write it just as it is i'll write five and four i'll write five and four now the rule is along the box multiply along the box multiply so this is one into two into four into five 20 into 2 so let me write it down 1 into 5 into 4 into 2 p 1 which is 2 this comes out to be 40 that is the 3 series and then I have 1 into 5 into 4 into 1 and this comes out to be 20 therefore if I add it up that comes out to be 60 that means there are 60 numbers even numbers between 3000 and 5000 and no digits are repeated so the second part is also done now let's focus on the third part now on the third part it says the number made the numbers made are multiples of five which are less than 1000 and digits can be repeated and also focus on this different numbers can be made from some or all of the digits of this number so let me write it down one and then I have 3 and then 4 and then 5 and 7 and 8 and 9. Now let me focus on lesser than 1000. So lesser than 1000. I can have a 3 digit number lesser than 1000. I can have a 2 digit number lesser than 1000. I can have a 1 digit number lesser than 1000. Now let me focus on the first thing that is the three digit number so three digit number lesser than 1000 and naturally i'm looking for multiples of five that means the last digit should be five so now uh, someone can ask this question what if there is a zero of course that was a possibility but we don't have zero over here so now if i want the last digit to be five so let me just draw a proper box and i think like this and let me just copy this box or I'll, I'll make a small one so now over here let me focus on the last digit so if i focus on the last digit so there is only one possibility that five should be there so that's one possibility now we are talking about a three digit number so now there are other two digits that i need to focus on out of six so what should i write but before that wait a minute digits can be repeated so any one of the seven could occupy the space that is seven over here any one of the seven could occupy the space so therefore along the box multiply 7 into 7 into 1 how much is that that is 7 square which is 49 that's a three digit number lesser than 1000 now let me focus on two digit number lesser than 1000 and just emphasizing the fact these are all multiples of 5 again I'll draw a box and in this box there are two digits naturally the last digit has to be five because it's a multiple of five so there is one possibility and since digits can be repeated and let me write this down also repetition of digits is allowed so that means each digit can be used more than once so what if I've used five I still have seven possibilities along the box multiply 7 into 1 that comes out to be 7 that's all done all dusted and last one that is very obvious one digit number lesser than 1000 and it has to be a multiple of 5 so let me just draw a single box and 
5 will go in there that this one possibility so this is 1 over here now we have 49 we have 7 we have 1 add it all up 49 plus 7 plus 1 that comes out to be 57 so the answer for this part is 57 so the last part answer is 57 that is all good this one was 60 this one was 720 let's double check there is the 60 and there is the 720 and that's how this classic question of number formation involving without repetition involving repetition involving some or all of the digits is done and dusted stay tuned for more content on mathematics with shahab yakub